So we're on this topic of mixture pivot modulation, and we just looked at Ken Studas Lant. Now I'd like to show another example. This is from Beethoven, the Spring Sonata. This is a slow movement. The violin's kind of been in a supportive role, and the, the keyboard, the piano's been holding forth. Now when the violin takes over, you get a change in quality. So one in B flat becomes a minor one in B flat. Here's our minor one. That carries on for two measures. And then we get G flat, B flat, D flat, which is flat six in first inversion. So flat six, six. And then if you notice, we're actually going to that key. There's a cadence over here. It's all the way over here. There's our PAC marked. So listen for this so that you can hear the context. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bar phrase. Come to a PAC right here in the new key of G flat. Now, okay, all this mixture then is getting us prepped for this new key of G flat. And G flat, if we think of it in terms of B flat, is flat six. We just saw how you can get to flat three. This now is the example of how you can get to flat six. He's basically already there. What he's doing is he's taking this flat six and measure 40, and he's, he's using it as his new tonic. Then let's see what's he doing here. Okay, it looks like a D flat chord. So this already is the dominant. This is five. So he does have the, here's the seventh. That might be a little tricky, so let me step through that. D flat, F, A flat, and it looks like you just got triad material here. But notice that the, the top part, the, the melody in the violin, has a 4-3 suspension and brings in, or I guess you don't think of it as a suspension necessarily, that's the root, but it brings, it, it brings in the chordal seventh a little late, making it not 5-6-4, but a 5-4-3. But that's not going to fit in the old key. You've got to take that D flat and think of it solely in the new. The common ground precedes that first dominant. Comes right here. That is common ground, and that's why we've made it our pivot. We probably yeah we could pivot back here too. So let's show that as a possibility as well. It's not like you have to settle on just one or the other. They both serve as common ground between the two. So what is B flat minor if you're in G flat major? Okay, so G flat, B flat, B flat is three, and because of the mixture, turning the B, B flat major into B flat minor, you've got the right quality. You've got a three, minor three, that fits in G flat. So there's our common ground there too. We could switch over already here and start thinking in G flat. All right, G flat for the bottom layer, and B flat symbols up above. Now notice this, this process of transforming this one into the new one, into flat six in first inversion. First of all, so maybe I'll use this sheet here. First of all, you've got B flat major, B flat, D, and F. Then he takes one note and changes it. To make it minor, he drops the D to D flat. One has become minor one. Now to get from minor one to flat six, our new, our new key, our new tonic, he just has to change one note. He's got to take the F and bump it up to G flat. So he does that in another stage, and we get, I'll write out all the notes so we can see them all there. We've got the chord we need, which is flat six. And in, the new, in terms of the new key, that is our one. So how did he arrive at the new tonic? He took the old tonic, bumped one thing up, took one thing down, all by semitones, and just eased us nicely into the new tonic.
look how similar that is to what we had in Kent Studis Lund. The same shifts. That's a fifth above the base going to a sixth above the base. That, that's our sixth here. And the third becomes a minor third here. It's the same procedure, five to six motion, three to flat three motion, same technique. So in a sense, yes, mixture creates the, the avenue, the wormhole to get you from this galaxy to this distant galaxy over there. But also, semitonal voice leading, little semitonal shifts, um, just two semitonal shifts, also sort of smooths over this, this huge chasm between distant or related keys, either uh, one, a, a home key and it's flat three, or the home key and flat six.